What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another episode of My Damn Hauls and it is episode number 46. <laughs> This episode of My Damn Hauls, guys, we do have these three packages right here, which are also trades that went down on Instagram. However, I do have quite a few figures off to the side here. I think it's like four loose figures, and then we have a bag full of goodies that uh, I need to uh, give credit to someone. And then we have a package from the good old boys over at Mattel, the WWE Elite Squad. Holla holla over there. I gotta show you guys something that I think is the coolest thing ever and it really humbles me and makes me so proud uh, of the channel and just to all you guys that follow this channel, you guys are so freaking amazing. You guys are the absolute best in the world. You guys are the GOAT as I would say and I just love you guys so very much. So we're gonna show you guys what we got from Mattel and I'm gonna show you that little bonus thing that I think is the coolest part of it. But uh, yeah, we do have these three packages but before we get into these, I wanna show you the loose figures and then I wanna show you what we got from Mattel. So this first figure does come from wrestling underscore fan underscore one on Instagram. Absolute beast. Big fan of the channel. He sent us this Elite 45 Seth Rollins. I did trade him one of my Elite Braun Strowmans for it. So huge shout out to you, bro. You know, we've seen so many Seth Rollins. I don't think you guys want to see this, but he did include this baggie full of goodies that has a hole in it. So I'm just going to try to shovel everything through the hole here. I believe everything's out of there. So what we got here, the first thing, we do have a Dolph Ziggler Elite 24 plastic tie-on shirt. I have a ton of these. Uh, I actually own this shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's uh, pretty much sort of a, a design that inspired the channel. That's our same font here at MDT. Zebra stripes, even three, uh, four actually of the colors over here with yellow, black, blue, and white. So this is beautiful. You clip it to your Zigglers. I've never owned this before. This is a Jax uh, little broom slash mop that goes in the backstage area. This is freaking beautiful. It's a little bendy, so you know you can like break it over the side of somebody's head. You know you can just whack, just whack Seth Rollins with it like that right there. So that's pretty sick. We got some Elite, Elite 20 Cody Rhodes boots there. And uh, these look great. I do have quite a few of these, and I can put them on a custom, you know, acetone, a little design off. That'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy sauce. So we can do that. We have this wicked little t-shirt. I don't know what I'll put this on. Maybe a crowd member or something, but it is... Uh, I don't think this is WWE figures, but uh, it's some sort of a floral design shirt. You know, you could put it on somebody. Maybe it'll look good on The Rock. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. F it. We got, uh, you know, of course, Seth's little entrance vest. We got a nice shovel right here. I have the other one that came with the ringside exclusive uh, casket and such. So, you know, you can hit Seth right there. After you hit him with a broom, you can hit him with a shovel. And then we have a very good Randy Orton head scan. I believe it's the Elite 9. And yeah, great Randy Orton head scan. So huge shout out to wrestling underscore fan underscore one on Instagram for all this great stuff. And we're moving on to the next one. So this next figure, guys, I just got randomly in the mail in a letter. I didn't even know that this was coming. And I hate to say it, but I, I don't I think I lost the envelope and I feel terrible about it. But huge shout out to whoever sent this over. I believe they sent it over maybe when they uh, found out that I didn't have my Great American Bash Sting anymore. So they sent one over. This is freaking awesome, man. Thank you so very much. This is a beautiful figure. I hate the torso they gave him, but this is still such a sick figure. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. You got good blue tights here. You could torso crack, remove the boots, and do like a Chris Benoit. You could do some other things with it. It's so a huge shout out to you, bro, for this great American bash defining moment sting. The figures we picked up at retail in this episode of My Damn Hogs, guys, are the WWE Shop exclusive Hardy Boys. My wife went out of town, as you know, I said in yesterday's video. She actually uh, took the camera and everything, and she went to FYE, and boys, oh boys, they had the freaking WWE. WWE Shop exclusive Hardy Boys at FYE, and of course, you know, she had to grab a pair to uh, add to the collection. This is my second pair now, but you know, you can never have too many Hardys. You can do customs and stuff. Uh, Jeff Hardy, one of my favorites of all time. I definitely got to make some customs, so this will definitely be made into a custom. Matt as well. I'll definitely do something with these, but huge shout out to the best wife and the most amazing woman in the world for getting me these when she was in Atlanta. So, uh, yeah. So getting into the things that we got from Mattel, guys. First off, we got the official retro ring looking beautiful right here. I have not owned this, so a huge thank you to the WWE Elite Squad and Mattel for this beautiful ring. They also threw in some retro figures. We got the retro series Finn Balor. 
We got the Retro Series Ric Flair. We got the Retro Series Yup Movement in Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And here's the thing that they sent over that is freaking amazing, guys. And I got to show you this real quick. They sent us the new Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Shawn Michaels that has not released yet. It doesn't release until a few months. Let me know down in the comments section below if you guys would like a full review on this like we did with Macho Man. I would love to do it for you guys if you want me to. Uh, just a brief little preview here. Here's what my favorite part is. They have a sticky note attached that says Trey White My Damn Toys on it. So that means that somebody over at Mattel literally hand wrote this, wrote my name and the channel down and that is just so sweet to me. I want to, I'm definitely going to keep this and uh, let me know down in the comment section if you want a full, full review on this Shawn Michaels. Man, this thing looks beautiful. It's got a bunch of MDT colors in it. It was when he was part of the Rockers so uh, we'll definitely have to check that out. But yeah man, this is, this is the highlight of my day right here. The sticky note. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now that we have covered everything except the three packages, we can finally dive in. Again, guys, got to give a huge shout out to Mattel. Thank you so very much. This is truly a dream come true. This is incredible for the channel and just it blows my mind. When I first started this, there was no way in heck that I would ever think that uh, I would get to partner with Mattel and do some things with Mattel. So that is absolutely a blessing. And I just thank you so very much for watching my videos and leaving likes and comments and just you guys are the absolute best and you are what makes what is good, everybody, and my damn toys the goat. So right here, we got these three packages and let's go ahead and dive into the first one. All right, guys, so our first package does come from Christopher Patrick, Chris Patrick, 334839 on Instagram right there, guys, as you see it spelled out right there. And uh, we're going to get right into this thing. It should... No, no, I almost forgot, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can get in the package right here. Just like that. Slice and dice, ripping the thing open. What do we got in here? It looks like we got ourselves another Elite 31 rock right here. Guys, we got the pants already on there, and this thing looks great. I can use this for customs. What I plan on doing with this one is probably removing the uh, pants here, throwing on a defining moment Stone Cold Steve Austin vest, and it will be his exact look from WrestleMania 19. We do have some head chipping right there, but I can just do a head swap or something. This thing does look nice. Tattoos does not look like they are faded or chipping or anything like that so this looks great thank you so much christopher patrick everybody go give him a follow on instagram and we're moving on uh. yeah! our next package does come from at michael 7103 i don't think there's a dot there may be a dot i'm not sure can't remember i'll go check right now yes ladies and gentlemen there indeed is a dot so it wasn't a moron putting that dot right there that dot does exist so right here is his instagram you can go give him a follow big pop funko collector over there but uh, we can go ahead and get into this thing. We're going to go ahead and cut it in, in, in over here on this side. We'll just get a little slice. A little slice back this way with the trusty knife. Uh, if anybody wants to, I challenge them right now. Go back on the channel and uh, figure out how many packages... I know it'll take a minute, but figure out how many packages has the trusty knife actually opened. I want, I want to know. I th I'm interested in knowing, so definitely just go back. I think I got it for Christmas, so any My Damn Halls episode after Christmas uh, should have the trusty knife in it, but I'm not sure. Definitely go find out, though. So if we open the box up, guys, we're just going to dump it out, it seems, here. Okay, so we do have some extra stuff in here. Got a little stuffing. Yeah. So throwing that off to the side, what we got right here. Uh, we do have this baseball bat, which is interesting. Look at this bat right here, guys. I feel like it's like a mallet. It's like a Bam Bam mallet. You know, uh, where's Seth Rollins at? Bring Seth Rollins out right here and just give him a little... So now he's been hit with what? He's been hit with the, the broom slash mop. He's been hit with a shovel. Now the mallet there, so that's nice. We got a Universal Championship that does come with the figure that we picked up. He threw in these two smaller figures, which is awesome. We got this... Uh, Shawn Michaels little mini figure. I don't think I ever owned any of these, so that's pretty cool. This will go in my little fan mail section. Also, this little mini Brock Lesnar figure, which is hilarious. A little figurine that goes on your desk. These are freaking sweet, bro. Thank you so much. Maybe we'll see this mallet in a freaking episode of MDT Live or something like that. That would be so cool to use in like a hardcore match. But here's the figure right here, and it looks like he's wearing some sort of apparatus on his chest here. We have the Elite 53 Kevin Owens. I actually used mine for a custom, so I had to get this figure back in my collection very happy to do so but this is pretty cool guys i actually want to use this in like maybe a 
WrestleMania for the Pick Fed or whatever, or My Damn Nation for the Pick Fed is my WrestleMania. So uh, maybe this will be used for somebody's entrance. Who knows? I'll definitely hold on to that. That's very, very sick. But he threw it on Kevin right there, and he's looking absolutely fresh. A so huge shout-out to Michael again, guys. Go follow him on Instagram. Absolute beast for making this trade. And thank you for all the extra goodies. So our last package does come from my boy Daniel right here. Green A 7X Figs on Instagram. Absolute beast. We play Fortnite and stuff all the time on PlayStation. So a huge shout-out to you bro go give him a follow on instagram as well we uh conducted a trade here and uh we got two figures that i was looking for in here we're just gonna give it a little cutsy right there oh we do have a note that's gonna go in my little uh it's gonna go in my little fan mail section here but uh what we got we got what's up trey i hope you enjoyed the two elite rocks as much as i did i've been a fan of your channel since around 3k you have by far the best content in the game keep up the phenomenal work daniel green a 7x figs Thank you so much, Daniel. This means an absolute ton to me. Again, I'm going to definitely add this to the uh, fan mail pile that I have in my closet over there. So I'm definitely going to keep on, uh, hold on to this. You guys are what make me have the best content. You guys are what drives me. You guys are what gets me going and gets the uh, what what is good everybody out of me. And 3K, that, that just seems like uh, yesterday. So that's so crazy, guys. Uh, we're coming up on 30K. So that, that literally blows my freaking mind. But let's get into here. Again, huge shout-out to Daniel for what we got in here. We got, like he said in the note, we got two Elite Rocks right here. We're going to open this baggie, and you guys will see that it is two Rocks that I don't think we have seen on either episode of My Damn Halls in the last two. We got the Then Now Forever Rock, and I had this before. You know, this is the Walmart exclusive, same series as the uh, Tyler Breeze, Bam Bam Bigelow, Rusev, I believe. And this is a great figure. He did head swap it. I actually like this better than the uh, one that came with. I may swap on a different head scan because I actually have one that I think I like a little bit better. But this looks better than the original figure. This is obviously from WrestleMania 31 where he, uh, him and Ronda Rousey had their little deal or whatever the crap that was. But uh, yeah, great figure here. And then the other figure we have is the Elite 16 Rock. And this is a great head scan and a great Rock figure. Uh, yeah! I believe this is his Elimination Chamber 2013 attire where he defeated CM Punk to win the WWE Championship. And this looks great. Torso's great. Tattoo's great. Head scan's great. This is a great rock figure. I believe I've owned this two times now. So thank you so much, Daniel, for these two awesome rock figures. And I'll get your ish shipped off as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, here we have the entire haul all lined up. I had to, you know, get way out and get a wide AF angle just to get everything in here. But uh, we got the Shop Hardy's exclusive. We got the Seth Rollins. We got all the bags of goodies. Kevin Owens, Sting, the new Retro Fest, Shawn Michaels, three Rock Elites, a ton of new Hasbro figures, and the new Retro Ring from Mattel. Again, huge shout-out to Mattel. Huge shout-out to all of you guys who uh, sent me fan mail, who sent me figures for trades. Thank you guys so very much. You guys, again, are the best in the freaking world. And I absolutely love you guys so very much. Again, comment down below. Do you want to see me fully review the RetroFest Shawn Michaels? If not, I'm about to freaking open this thing up as soon as possible. I'm loving the colors on this thing. It absolutely looks like MDT in the channel. So I definitely want to dive in there and see what it looks like. But uh, that about does it for this episode of My Name Halls, guys. I want to do something huge for episode 50. Also, leave comments down below what you think I should do for episode number 50 of My Name Halls. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Wadfix for the inspiration behind, you know, doing something big for episode number 50. I know he does mail call, which isn't the same thing. Uh, I think they are different in styles, but uh, I definitely want to mention his name. And I also want to say that I need some ideas for some cool things I can do for episode number 50. Leave your comments down below so I can uh, figure something special out for you guys. We're definitely going to have a ton of figures to do and we're going to have a great time with it. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE, WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.